Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Well, welcome everyone to the last episode of Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations Case 4. Yep. We're going to finish it in this recording session anyways. Yep. And I'm, I'll just say right now Marty's theory is that at the end of no, the case... No, no, okay, I realized it wasn't going to work, but... <laughs> her theory was at the end of the case, Dahlia is going to fake her own death. Again. Again. And she's like, basically, like, when Dahlia's in trouble, she fakes her own death, like John Ralphio from Parks and Recreation. Parks and Recreation. <laughs> At first it's I was going to be like, theory. she's going to kill herself, like, but that doesn't or whatever. Work. From, but I was like, wait a minute, she's alive later, so that wouldn't make any no, no, sense. No, no, no. Anyway. So. How can I prove a fake kidnapping that happened five years ago? I don't even have dis decisive proof of ha Valley Hawthorne. Valley, Valley Hawthorne. Hawthor. You can call me Val. <laughs> Val. Valley Hawthorne's murder. Well, it seems that we've stopped with changing my voice all the time. <laughs> to be honest, the witness's behavior does raise certain suspicions. However, I'm forced to reject the assertions made by the defense. <laughs> of course you are. Is this it? Is it really over? That girl has made a fool of me and there's nothing I can do about it! Ha. Huh. Without evidence, the trial is over? Who decided that? Mr. Armando! <laughs> you always say that in like that like annoyed voice, like, ah, oh, stop talking! Stop it! <laughs> Come on now, kitten. Haven't you figured out that you can make your own rules? For uh, example, even if there's no evidence, there's still testimony. Testimony. On the day in question, Dahlia Hawthorne murdered her sister Valerie Hawthorne. She hid her body in the trunk of Mr. Fall's stolen car and then went to meet with him. Disguised as her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. That's what you think, right? Yes, that's right. In that case, there's only one answer, right? There's only one person left who can testify about Valerie Hawthorne's murder. Since there's no proof, there's only one thing left to do. Who is the one person that who can testify to that demon woman's crimes? Um... I mean... One's dead. One's a detective. One's standing in front of us. One's dead. One's the the um. One's the prosecution. One's the prosecution. One's him. I was about to say he's standing in front of us. Um. Oh, I thought you were talking about Dahlia. Is <laughs> she still called Melissa Foster? She's still called Melissa Foster. <laughs> but can we call in the actual dude? You mean him? Yeah. Can we call him in? Is that possible? Why wouldn't it be? Because he's the defendant. So, Phoenix Wright testified when he was on trial, so did Ron Delight. That's true, and then we figured out he ate the necklace. Alright, bring on! <laughs> uh, Phoenix Wright, not Ron Delight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen up, this is your last chance. Think it over carefully one more time. Relax, Mia. This is easy. Oh, no penalty. <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, <laughs> he's the one to- he's not gonna penalize us. Oh, you're so stupid, Mia. Your Honor, the defense wishes to call a new witness. A new witness? Yes, we would like to hear the testimony of Terry Falls. The defendant? There's only one person that can shed any further light on this situation. Only one person that knows who Do or what Dahlia's role in the kidnapping was. Only one person that can say whether the person in the photo is Valerie Hawthorne, or whether it was in fact her younger sister Dahlia disguised as her. There's only one person who can solve this riddle once and for all. And that person is Terry Falls. I thought they just wouldn't let us do that. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what's your take on this? I object. <laughs> He's like, fine, stupid. Why not? The prosecution has no objection. Very well. Bailiff, bring the defendant to the witness stand. All right. This is my last chance, Mr. Falls. My last chance to establish Dahlia's guilt. You're all I have left. I just realized, she's wearing a scarf. Mia? Yeah. <laughs> Defendant, you've heard everything that's been set up to this point, yes? Uh, um, I don't believe it. No way. Dahlia died! 
five years ago, Valerie betrayed me. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Mr. Falls, I don't know what she said to you five years ago, but one thing is clear. Dahlia is very much alive, and you were used for two million dollars. That's not true! Mr. Falls, there's only one question I want the answer to. Two days ago on Dusky Bridge, who did you meet? Was it Valerie Hawthorne, or was it Dahlia Hawthorne? Dahlia, Dahlia, did you betray me? Five years ago she promised, she promised never ever betray each other. Terry. Dahlia! It, it's true! You are alive! You don't trust me anymore? That makes me sad. Tell the truth! The real truth! I... I believed in you! I shouldn't need to say it. You should already know. But... There's one thing I will say. My life is in your hands right now, Terry. Da... Dahlia... Oh, this isn't gonna end well. Poor dude. I will allow Mr. Falls to testify once and once only. One time. Well then, Mr. Falls, yours will be the final testimony in this trial. This poor okay, dude. hang on. I'm sorry, but Dahlia lied like, what, 20, 20 times? times? And it's like, oh, well, if you lie just... once, you're done. It's like, well, talk about double standards. Yeah. Also, this poor dude. Witness? Ah! Ah! I'm sorry. I apologize. Water. Please. Water. Hmm? Can't talk. Need water. Ha. Oh, well. I guess it'll have to be my coffee instead. The guy does not need coffee. <laughs> At least it'll match the way he's probably feeling right now. Darker and bitterer than hell itself. <laughs> Stop eating your ball, dude. <laughs> it's like toddlers when they chew on their uh, pacifiers. That's the worst pacifier ever. I agree. <laughs> Who but maybe Terry it's like Falls that. saw? That day, 4 p.m., I stopped the car. I was in front of Bridge. She wasn't there, so I waited on Bridge. I watched my car from Bridge. I never put no body in the car. Finally, one woman came. She stood in front of me. We talked, then she left. That was that was Valerie, not my Dahlia. You know what I just realized? Him with the ball. I don't know if you've ever... I don't even remember the name of this movie. There's a movie with this guy who... A plane crashes and he, like, sweeps up on an island and he's all by himself. He's the only one cast who away lives. With he's the cast away with the volleyball. With the volleyball! This is basically yep. what it is! <laughs> I was about to say. Mr. Falls, you're covering for her. Do you think she would do the same for you? That's enough, Miss Faye. His last statement was a fitting way to end the final testimony of the trial. Mm. Well then, Miss Fay, please proceed with your cross-examination. Is this how you want it to end, Mr. Falls? Another guilty verdict to go along with your death sentence? She, he hasn't died yet. There's only one person who can stop it. You, kitten. I think. Well, he was on death row to begin with. Yeah, but he, it's been five years and he's not dead. These fans take time. Do they? Sometimes, yeah. Oh. I thought it was like, death penalty, you die in two days. No, no, there needs to be try to, uh, time for retrials and stuff. It might be like when the statute of limitations runs out, then that's when the sentence can be carried out. Because otherwise, it's like, yeah. well, what if we can overturn the verdict? And it's like, well, they're dead. Too bad. Yeah, that's true. I don't also, Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. And... Also, I, it, it seems really crazy that there's, like, the movies where it's just like, You have until dawn to live, and then we burn you. <laughs> what movies have you been watching? Hunchback. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> you live till dawn, then we burn you. But not in that voice. <laughs> Sanctuary! <laughs> Take these gypsy vermin, vermin to the palace, palace of, of justice. justice. <laughs> <sighs> Who Terry Falls saw. Well... I, is this the last Chrome examination? I thought he had two testimonies. Um, this might be a shorter than average episode. Whoops. Okay. Stop car in front of bridge. According to the note, the meeting was supposed to take place at 4.30. You certainly arrived early, didn't you? It was raining. Already dark, too. You waited on the bridge for 30 minutes? Mr. Falls? Eagle Mountain. 
that spot. Strong, strong memories. Sorry. Why did he just clam up? Could it be he's hiding something here? Yeah, he's hiding stuff. She, she wasn't, wasn't there. there. I waited on bridge. I think what happened is he walked in on them fighting fighting or her like dragging the body and she's like hey long time no see but he didn't know she was still alive until like two seconds ago maybe he's clamped up about that so he just saw this random woman and was like it's valerie or valerie maybe... was dead you're saying you he saw dahlia dragging valerie into the yeah but maybe i don't know hey can you open your trunk Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you were quite early, so you waited on the bridge, correct? Yeah, I like waiting. I'm used to it. Aw, oh, poor dude. I'm sure he is. Zebra Boy waited five years to ask a single question to find out why a woman betrayed him. Poor dude. To him, 30 minutes must have been like the blink of an eye. Yeah, this this poor guy. Holy cow. If if he actually is like mentally retarded in some way, like sure. oof, man. Probably one of the more sympathetic characters in that case. Didn't put the body in the car. Oh, he's definitely sympathetic. Like, the minute I met him, I'm like, oh. If he didn't commit a crime, I feel so bad. Yeah. Because that but... can just mess up your whole life. Even if you eventually don't oh, yeah. have the death row. Like, like, if you're a clear from everything, people are still going to be like, that's the guy who, like, got convicted Sure, you can't get a job. You're definitely... It's always going to be just It's always going to be haunting you. Plus, you knew all these people who were gone. Prison is Prison probably is terrible. pretty terrible, especially if you're on death row. Sure, and it, it's like it's, it's like when people go to the military and then like they, they come back they come back completely changed because they've you know, been in wars, they've seen things, and they can't that sleep. and also boot camp. Like the one of the yeah. goals of boot camp is they basically tear down your personality and try to make a new one, which I feel like is 100% unethical in like every sort of way. Yep, agreed. So you were watching the car. That bridge. Other side is broken. Nobody can come from there. So, I was watching Car. Oh, you know who he also looks like? He looks like that guy from Avatar that, like, punches Aang over like a- Ha! 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 <laughs> like, no, with, um, there's there's Longshot, there's Smeller B, oh, that, and there's that the big tall guy. guy. The big guy. Oh, I thought you talking about, hey, Ryan! Ryan! <laughs> also like him! <laughs> He's good. <laughs> <sighs> what else were you expecting him to do? I suppose that's the obvious thing to do, but... Something's bothering me. I'm getting that feeling. A contradiction? I wonder what's on the other side of that broken bridge anyway. No one lives there. There's a small shrine up on the mountain, but that's it. Anyway, nobody came! No car, nothing! Finally, one woman came. She stood in front of me. Mr. Falls, think carefully now. Are you certain it was Valerie Hawthorne? Uh, uh, uh. I never lie! It's the truth! It was Valerie! I remembered her face! Wait a minute. If you had remembered her face, then why did you make her wear a scarf as identification? Uh, sorry. I told a little lie. But, the woman I met, she was different from woman standing here now. She was different. It was Valerie. Well, I mean, she could have put on a wig. We talked, then she left. What did you talk to her about anyway? Oh. Mr. Falls! Valerie told the truth about the kidnapping five years ago. She said someone needed to take the blame for it. That was all I could think to do. She said that. That's why she lied. Got me the death penalty. And were you satisfied with that answer, witness? No. Dahlia died. It was my fault. Except she didn't. But I don't really remember. Maybe I did. Maybe I did push her in. No, don't say that. Nope, nope. It don't matter no more. Either way, my Dahlia, my sweet teen angel. She's right dead. in front of you! You literally just said that. You just saw that she isn't dead. <laughs> this guy's disturbed in yeah. the head. After Valerie talked to me on bridge, nothing left to live for. Thankfully the music isn't terribly sad, because this would be so hard. This is pretty sad cross-examination music. It's not like 
It's not like the second games, but... It's not like you can call me Marth. <laughs> Don't! <laughs> I, I should put that over the testimony. No! <laughs> <laughs> that was Valerie, not my Dahlia. How can you be so sure? It was raining at the time, and sunset that day was at 5 o'clock. It would have been already pretty dark on the mountain at 4.30. Please, Mr. Falls, this is your last chance. You already have taken the fall once for something you didn't do. That woman... It wasn't Dahlia. Stop right there. What more needs to be said? Hmm... I mean, it could be the order of events are wrong. Maybe he came... And the woman left. And then later, she met... Dahlia. It could be. Mm. It could be the order was wrong. It could but, be. But how did Valerie get stuffed into his trunk then? I don't know. Again, I think it could be that she talked to him and then, whizza, Dahlia popped out from around the corner and the whole thing was so traumatic that he just like kind of in his brain forgot about it. Mm. It could be. Maybe. Even if it means the death penalty. Even if it means taking the blame for murder. You'll still do whatever is necessary to protect your... won't you, Mr. Falls? I know it's obvious, but he's clearly lying. He's been cursed by Dahlia Hawthorne. He'll probably go to his grave still believing in her. Mr. Falls... Even if you can show he's lying, the poor guy will still be cursed. You'll still have to point out the contradiction anyway. That's the curse of being a defense lawyer, I guess. Yep. Well, so do you see where obvious. it is? Yep. Where is it? Um, well, he had said that, um, yeah, we talked, she left. Uh, oh, maybe not. Back. If you think about it, th there's something that's obviously wrong here. Um, go back again. Timing's wrong. With the car. He drove the car up. He's sure. saying he waited on the bridge. Sure, but how it would have happened is Dahlia would have had to drag her sister's body all the way down, throw it in some bystander's car, and then he'd have to hijack the car and drive it up and meet Dahlia. Oh, that you're thinking how it all happened? Yeah. Oh, interesting. That's what I'm so you think Okay, about. so you think you think Dahlia killed Valerie, randomly, completely somewhere different. Shoved it into no, the car, no, trunk of a car of people driving. I think driving. That the order of the events. Then he stole the. You're saying completely wrong. Wait, are I'm you saying he stole this. the car from a couple and Valerie just happened to be in the trunk of that car? Well, that would be how it would be. If it was she wasn't there, then she came, then she left. The body would already have to be in the trunk when he leaves. Leaves this the bridge. He leaves the bridge. Yes. Because he came yes. with his car. Body and he already drove has to be. drove until he got arrested. Yeah. So, if that's the case... <sighs> that or he he's lying here, and he didn't wait. I know. Wait. It could be. I think also that... I don't know. So really think about what he's saying and how what it would look like if he's telling the truth. Okay, 4 p.m., stopped car, front of bridge. She wasn't she there, wasn't he there. waited on the bridge. He waited on the bridge. Yes. All of a sudden she appears out of nowhere from the other side. From where? The side where it's broken? I'm guessing he's facing the broken side. Would she suddenly appear over the broken side? No, he side? was he was on the bridge facing his car. He wanted to make sure he saw oh. whoever came up. So then he said he saw Dolly, or uh, Valerie. She came on the bridge. They talked. She left. He left. And then he doesn't know what the trunk of the her body got in the trunk. So think about how that would look. And is that right? While they're on the bridge. No, because it's the opposite of the photo. Yep. Once I thought about it. Yeah. So if we look at the witness's photo, if he's telling the truth, he should be there. Yep. On the right, yep. and she should be where he is. Yep. So when you got to the bridge, no one had arrived, huh? So you waited on the bridge. You're sure of that? Yeah, I'm sure. You're sure, huh? Well then, I'm sure too, Mr. Falls. I'm sure that you're lying. Huh? Oh, I would love to hear your rationale on this, Miss Faye. You want to know who arrived on the at the bridge first? 
just looked at this photo. Look, just look at the photo. It's perfectly clear. Obviously, the person that came first would be the one at the end of the bridge, right? But, but that's the victim at the end of the bridge. Unless she went to the shrine. Precisely my point. In other words, Mr. False, you must have arrived at the bridge after she did. <laughs> Um, Mr. False, please don't get so worked up. We just want the truth. I got there around four o'clock. It's true. I... I had somewhere to go. A special place. Did you go to this special place before you went to the bridge? Yeah. It's an old temple about 15 minutes from the bridge. Five years ago, me and Dahlia, we promised each other. We swore we wouldn't betray each other. She brought a memento to represent our love. A memento? Five years ago, I hid it under base of tree there. Ooh, do you have it? <laughs> I'm surprised you're laughing about that. But, but this is, it all connects. It's true, it does. It all connects. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh about it, though. <laughs> it's ridiculous! Because she's like, here's our love! Here's our love! Like, she's regifting! <laughs> she, she's like, double purpose. It's perfect. Also, she can hold poison in it. It's also, she could hold a Harry Potter love potion in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special memory for me. This is it. This is what I went to get. This little bottle on the necklace is your memento? It's quite charming, but it looks empty. Your Honor, you heard what my client said. He arrived at the scene at four o'clock, but he then left his car unattended and walked away. He was gone for approximately 30 minutes. Oh. <sighs> With that much time, Dahlia Hawthorne could have easily hid the body in the trunk of his car. N no! Indeed, there certainly was enough time for it. I've still got a chance. Mr. Falls, there's no mistaking it. <laughs> huh? Mr. Falls? Oh, this might have been what you were trying to let people know about. Yeah. Th that's enough, please. What? Witness? I, I promised her five years ago. If it ever happens that we can't trust each other no more, then we're supposed to drink bottle. Oh! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Ugh. No, no! Stop the trial! Your Honor, we need a recess! I, I was stupid. Couldn't keep promise. So I did it. I drank this. No! We're so close! Just a little more! I was going to prove your innocence! No, don't want that. Don't trust self. Oh. Maybe kill again. No. Kill sweet Dahlia again. No. Mr. Falls! Mr. Ar Armando, th thanks. What? For the coffee. Oh. Mr. Falls! Well, Dahlia should not get away with this still. And so my first trial ended. Suddenly and tragically. It ended with no winners, only losers. So wait, did he drink the bottle right then and there? Or- Yeah, when he got up to testify, he drank it and then he needed the coffee to wash it down because it was so awful. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's why he needed and the because he And because he died before he could give the last bit of testimony. We could we could free. Yep. That's so stupid. It's obvious. But we can't prove it. At least put her in jail. But we can't prove it. That's the problem. I ended up with a wound that was cut so deep into my soul I thought it'd never heal. Yeah, that's a that's a rough first trial. I'm sure it was the same for the young prosecutor as well. So, what was it? Oh, it was poison, of course. Yeah. So Cause remember, cause see, Who would think to put that in the necklace 
and then be like, if we betray each other, we drink. Because <laughs> she is a... I know she's terrible. Demonic psychopath. Who the heck who would is... ever agree to that, though? Him, because he's mentally handicapped, probably. And she had wrapped him around her little finger. Well... Just remember, we got her convicted guilty in the first case. Still. Also, this is why Mia freaked out so much when Phoenix ate the bottle. Oh, that explains a lot. Get out of here! Oh. Because she thought it was going to happen again. Still. <sighs> yeah, when when the first episode, when the first case comes up on YouTube, you should rewatch it and you're going to see a whole lot more stuff. And, and it sure. really explains why Mia was like slapping Grossberg all the time. Does it? Yeah. Oh, I often, thought he was often, just like, oh my hemorrhoids. Well, no, because no, she would slap him every time uh, Phoenix was like being really gushy over Dahlia. Oh, uh, yeah. And she was very uncomfortable She's like, about I it. know what this girl's like. Yep. Man. But one person. The true criminal, Dahlia Hawthorne. She left the courtroom with a secret smile on her demonically sweet face. And that's why it wasn't the first trial. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Romano's like, well, that was, that was something. <laughs> Unforgivable, that witch. Mr. Armando. We were so close to the truth. It was right there in front of us. You were just a little too soft, kitten. No, you were the one who gave him coffee. It's my fault. It's all my fault that Mr. Falls killed himself. Don't cry, kitten. You're gonna make my coffee all salty. I knew it. I knew I wasn't cut out for this. Mia. Don't you get it? You can't cry yet. Oh. Ow. The only time a lawyer can cry is when it's all over. Mr. Armando. No matter how tough the case, no matter how bitter the memories, they always fade over time. Then you file them away and eventually forget them. Miss me oh yeah, I forgot this was a flashback. One year later, in this very same courthouse, I myself got wrapped up in that case. <laughs> Only after that did Dahlia Hawthorne get put on trial for her crimes. Please tell me she's in jail. The verdict that was ultimately handed down to her was... Guilty, of course. Naturally, when the verdict was read, she had a perfect angelic smile on her face. Sure. Cause that's you. It was finally all over. At least that's what I thought at the time. What, did she get bailed out in jail because of her connections? Unfortunately, I couldn't have been more wrong. What? It's been five years, but now something has happened that's made me remember all this. Come on. What, did she die? Maybe she died. Episode 4, Turnabout Beginnings, The End. Well. So I really like how that advances the plot, but I don't like how short it is. And we get the final case added, Bridge to the Turnabout. I don't just, I don't want to overhype it, but this is basically unanimously agreed to be the best case in the series. Is this, if this has to do with the same case, though, and the same people, it's gonna be annoying. I just want to play a character who goes completely insane with, like, a ridiculous voice. Dahlia goes kind of no, insane. No, no, I mean, like, someone hilarious and then all, like, think, look at me, but a girl. <laughs> Leia like, at me. <laughs> Leia at me. Like, just someone who can have a crazy, that's why I loved Mimi Miami. Like, I thought, really? was so, I thought it was so- OMG! Because it was fun to play her! Okay, I'm trying to- f There are a couple characters you get to voice, but uh, they're kind of normal? I don't know. Is it another Penny? You're gonna like the case. Okay. Even if you don't get to voice act that much, you're gonna like the case. It's- If it's- Since we've had a short it's episode, such a well we start some of it? No. What?! Because, trust me, we are going to need at least a whole hour. 
for the oh, first okay. part of the case. Otherwise, it's going to end in the mother of all cliffhangers. <laughs> I'm sure it will. All right. Well, <laughs> that's the part where everyone's going to be looking forward to. This case is I amazing. Hope so. This is my favorite case in the series. You, this favorite in the whole series. Yes. What's like Link's your second well. favorite? Last case of investigations two. Which we haven't played. Which we haven't played. Okay. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Currently, it's like of my case of the cases that we've played, I've loved two two. That's so I've weird really, to me. <laughs> I've really liked two three. Okay. I've really liked um one. Oh four. wait! Oh wait! I'm sorry. Two two. Not one two. <laughs> no one two. Well, that's April that's, May. That's April May. I thought that's what you were... also liked that one. <laughs> okay, that one was also good. So she liked reunion and turnabout. Turnabout big top. Yeah, turnabout big top. And then the farewell my turnabout. Is that the one where Edgeworth uh, shoots the guy? No, no, that's uh, turnabout goodbyes. What's the farewell my turnabout? That's the one where Maya gets kidnapped. Oh no 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 no! Oh, you didn't like that one. I thought that one was fine. It was just too much on edge. Oh, maybe you won't like too much this one. Stake. Too much at stake, yeah. I mean, it's the final case. I just also. liked... Get you on the edge with there. Oh, wow. At least they didn't put on a picture of Dahlia, because that just would have been like... Yeah! Oh, she's so annoying. <laughs> you really hate her. She's so... Ugh. She is an the absolutely is, horrible person. I think the sad thing is, obviously, no one that I know is as nearly as bad as that, but I see so many people that I know in her that I'm just like, oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, she's horrible. She's horrible. Anyhow, everybody, that's it for this episode. Look forward to next episode. I'm predicting next episode will be about an hour in length. Okay. Watch the whole thing. It's gonna hook you pretty, cool. pretty quickly, I think. Cool. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Remember, guys, Dahlia is the young umbrage.